All right guys, so today we will be installing the door decals on this Jurassic World Jeep. We're still waiting on the other stickers to arrive. They're coming from America, so I don't know if they're held up in shipping. The delivery date was between the 29th and the 2nd. It's like the, what's it, the 9th, 10th today? So they're a bit late. So anyway, I thought I'd be putting these on because I think the vinyl on the sticker, on the uh, adhesive part, is starting to just come apart. Just because it's so hot here and I don't, I don't want to wreck the stickers, I'd rather just put them on, get the first part done, and then we can worry about the other stickers later. Um, so I'm not going to tell you guys what the other stickers are, but hopefully they turn up next week. But we'll wait that next weekend anyway. So I thought we'd be putting these on. Now, before we get started, this is not a tutorial on how to put them on, because I'm not very good. Full statement, I am absolutely useless. Remember those kids back at school putting those vinyl things on their books? I didn't get my mum do it. It was I was awful. Um, so I'm trying to do it the easiest and quickest way. There's a few ways to be able to do it: either uh, putting on dry with, on a clean surface or putting on wet. But apparently, the easiest way is putting on dry. So we did the other side dry, and it's, it turned up all right. There's a few little bubbles and stuff. I think we should be able to get out. Um, but this is more so uh, measuring, uh, trying to find out the center of the door, um, how high you guys want to go. Obviously you guys don't have to do it the same as me, you guys can put lower, higher, whatever you want. It might be different stickers. Also your stickers might be the same, uh, different sizes. I think my one's uh, 42 wide, 42 centimeters wide by 30 I think the cut was. Um, I can measure them up if you guys want and leave something down in the description. Uh, but we'll be measuring out, uh, we're to put them, putting a little bit of tape, uh, measuring out on the sticker as well and um, putting a bit of tape and kind of just marrying those two up and hopefully it looks good the other side looks all right um so check you guys on the tripod we'll put these on the other side looks pretty killer i must admit i was hoping to wait for everything to turn up i should have been here like a week ago two weeks ago now a week ago um but whatever it happened but if i'm doing something wrong or there's an easy way to leave it in the comments but it's probably too late by then i'll have these on and i might have already balls it up but we'll see, but leave a comment, um, any tips on putting the other ones on, any tips on making this job a lot easier, let me know in the comments below, um, anything can help or might just help for someone else as well, doing the same sort of thing. Uh, so let's measure, it up, measure this up, chuck these on and let's see how it looks, it looks pretty dope, alright, let's chuck you guys on the tripod. Um, so with the door measurements, all I'm doing is going just above the actual lock of the door, I'm not really trying to do anything else, I'm trying to make it as simple as possible. I'm going pretty much on that hinge there and putting the tape just above the door and it's about 90, 94 maybe just under, let's say 94, so half is 94 is 47, so if we get our tape, put it that way so we've got something to hook onto, so hook onto the door, make sure it's nice and flush, so what I'm doing is putting it on the left hand side of the measurement, so 47 is there. So. Forty-seven is there, so I put it on the left hand side of the forty-seven and above it as well. So on the actual decal itself, um, it's about forty-four along, but it comes in probably a mil or so centimeter um, on each side so it's uh, 42 point uh, 41.3 um, is the center of that um, so all I've got is that kind of down the centered straight as I can then all I'm going to do is marry it up to the one on the door so I put both on the left hand side of the actual measurement itself so when it lines up like that it should have a pretty centered decal. Should. You know, as I said, this is not a tutorial how to do it. If anything, that's probably the wrong way to do it, but it's more about the drastic trick build, isn't it? Anyway, let's peel the backing off. Um, mine's like kind of like de lem not de laminated, but like the adhesive on the front's kind of come off just because it's how hot it is. It's not, not about the sticker itself, it's about how hot. So when I was trying to pull the last one off, the sticker wasn't coming with it. So I've just got along, kind of like, press it down, maybe do that with yours. If you are putting yours on, just make sure it's all coming off together. So let's peel this off. Where's my, just using a 
card, don't look at the numbers on it. I'm just looking using a card to kind of like push it down once I get it on. And it seems to work alright. Don't judge me on this, I'm horrible at putting stickers on. Same sort of thing's happening again. As you can see the sticker is not coming away with the back. Oh, it sort of is. position there and Oh, I thought I almost balls up well, there for a second, but there's still time. it up a little bit. This little corner here is not straight. It might be you have to peel it off and straighten it up. That's why I'm not doing tutorials on how to do stickers. So I'll pull that part off. But it's pretty centered. Maybe. It up a little bit on the R and on that corner. Okay, so the R is good. Got a few spots. I think that corner's. Better than what it was. Bores the corner up a little bit. Just there. Mm, it's not, not, not really straight. It's better than what it was, but -hoo 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 -hoo. it's nice and straight. A few little spots. I don't have the camera's trying to pick it up. Oh, looks so good. Yeah, well, I was nervous there for a sec, I thought I'd... Because I did it different, I kind of put half of it on instead of putting the whole backing off it, then putting it on. I'll do that next time. I was like, oh, I want to have a fucking Jurassic Jeep with um, one half of the stickers on. But what I'm going to do now is go along, push some of these bubbles out, and it should look a lot nicer. It doesn't have to look perfect. I mean, I might have balls that up there as well. Shit. That's why I'm not doing tutorials on this. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. That's pretty much it for today. Still waiting on the next parts. Next uh, stickers we're doing for there and there. And across that top cow part as well. Where are you? There you are. But that's pretty much it for today, guys. If you guys like this video and keen to 
see the rest of the Jurassic build come to life, let me know in the comments. I think about some other things I want to get your opinion on. Um, but let me know in the comments below what you guys reckon. That's pretty much it. Let me know if, what you guys think. But thanks so much for watching. And I'll oh, smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Really help us out. Let me know if you guys, you guys like these videos or not. And we can start making some more. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.